what up guys, it's Air Free at Phantom and it's a chilly march in Belfast Ooh. it's the first sort of decent run I've got out because they've just been throwing the salt down and throwing the salt down and these pipes have an aluminium cast engine which hates the salt more than most other aluminium cast engines I know they all do it but I don't know the finish on it's very rough so it seems to oxidise really easy so you can't blame me for wanting to keep it away from the salt <laughs> I just need to find something that's uh, good for taking the salt off from the previous owner also toying with the idea of uh, carbon fibre uh, swing arm wraps because the last owner left a lovely big store on it but I don't know so yeah bikes I moved there the other bike and I'm loving the reverse shift it's great to be back <laughs> just popping through the gears So, uh, yeah, I know I've been quiet. It's just been constant work. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. So, everybody has to do the cards and the flowers. You dare not go near Tesco or Asda. It's just been packed solid with people. And also promise, I will not mention anything about Brexit. Because I don't know about the rest of you, but I am fed up to the back teeth listening to Brexit it's all over every channel constant breakfast, lunch evening not even news shows, even you tune in like your, your comedy shows and it's all Brexit, Brexit, Brexit Brexit, I'm sick to go out of hearing about Brexit just do it if you're doing it, don't if you don't Sure, no matter what happens, we're all going to get screwed anyway with tax, so it's not like it's going to bother as much. The world will always turn on, no matter what these guys decide to do. So, uh, yeah, oh, that's another thing. Talking about news, I've seen uh, by 2022 all cars have to have speed, automatic speed limiters on them. Now, I don't know, are these going to be overridable like the Mercedes one? Or are they going to be mandatory engaged all the time? Because see if it is like that, that's going to be a bit dung. You know, see, it'll only be a matter of time it'll be on the bikes as well. You may as well not buy anything quicker than a 125. I'm just, uh, if that is the way it goes, I'm just happy that I was able to be young enough to experience two strokes at full power, super bikes at full power, and not having the nanny state dictating to me how I should live and the way I should live. <laughs> Relish the freedom. We're not going to have it long. <laughs> yeah, my brother got one of them civics and uh, says what do you think, look at it and there's more buttons and gizmos and distractions than you could shake a stick at it has uh, this button that also keeps you in lane so the steering wheel sort of pulls against you now never used it, don't know exactly what way it goes but uh, Surely it can't pull against you that hard because what happens here drive down the road and uh, somebody pulls out in front of you and you need to swerve to avoid. You know, you can't swerve to avoid because it's pulling against you or to what level does it pull against you? I haven't drove it so I can't possibly comment. But I don't know, cars 
are getting to the point now that they may as well be self-drive. There's so many driver aids, flashy lights to tell you when you're coming to pass somebody, or well, sorry, when somebody's passing you. As I say, is a thing now, the anti-sleep thing, which is good. It looks at your eyes and sees, are you focused? And it wakes up if you're not. Good thing. Oh. Bang, bang, pop. Don't know if the camera will pick up this popping when I do the, the quick shift. If I get a chance. I see a hound de Tuscan in the fast lane. Well, overtaking lane, so probably not got a chance. <laughs> not saying people that drive hound de Tuscans or Tucsons are slow drivers, but they're slow drivers. Let me see if we can hear the pop. Don't know if the camera picks that up, <laughs> but it's fun. <laughs> oh, see, it'll be not so long before you'll not be able to do that in the bike. You're going to accelerate and the bike will go, nah, nah, not doing it. Not allowed to do it. Not allowed to accelerate. <laughs> But yeah, oh, it is windy. This is one thing when I'm heading back to Bangor, it's like, no matter how good a day it is everywhere else, you get down here and it's just windy. In Burma wind. The cows and sheep have side shades. I think that's why the youngsters in Bangor have side shades, it's just constant wind. It's not by choice, you know, you give yourself a wee fancy quiff or a flick or a spike or whatever you want to do and five minutes later walking around the town you've got a side shade comb over due to the wind <laughs> Bangor the home of hipsters eh? <laughs> oh my eyes are watering something shocking already I don't know as any other bikers get this I've got this uh, thing, the doctor says it's called blepharitis. It's like a dry skin around the eyes. If that's the way I've pronounced it right. And basically, your eyes are dry and they tear a lot. The tears go into the dry skin, stings your eyes, makes it flare up. Skin dries out even more, makes your eyes water more. The tears dry the skin and so on and so forth and it's a vicious cycle. And it, it's... If I'm working out, or skydiving, or on a motorbike, the tears and sweats just, well, working out the sweats in my eyes, but anything else with tears, it just flying out of my eyes constantly. No matter what I do, it just burns the eyes out of me. Maybe it's getting old, you know. I'm an old man now. Old man, young at heart. <laughs> Filter, 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 filter. Don't move, don't move, don't move. Stay red. Does anybody else hope for red lights on bikes? <laughs> Helps you get to the front of the queue. <laughs> but yeah. Hi, the other thing. Uh, I want to say, what, what do you guys run your tires at pressure wise? I always run it around 34 front and back, 32 for very, very spirited riding on tracks. But uh, I went and got a set of these new Michelin tires, and they're the guy that fitted them. I only checked them when I got home. First time I don't felt like I was riding on rails. But I got back and he put 36 in the front and 40 in the back. Now I know that's standard for road but to be honest it's too heavy for my leg or too heavy too high for my legging so i had to just drop a wee bit of psi out of there on another note these tires are amazing 
brand new, nine miles on them, went to MOT, um, thought I'd give it beans coming back to the MOT centre with a traction control up to four, an absolute torrential downpour just to see how easy they let go and they didn't spin one bit. I was actually very surprised. I've still got chicken strips big enough that Colonel Sanders was after me to get back but uh, hopefully get these scrubbed in and then get this thing down to Kirkiston a wee rip see what it can do around the track but yeah very happy with my latest mods reverse shift in the Michelin Power RS anyway I'm gonna go home now get the barbecue on the hot top heated and a wee glass of rum poured I'll see all you guys next time. Later.